I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. I'm sorry, I was under the impression I was in charge. You're leading and I'm following. Does that seem clear to you? Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. She was a stubborn Dunmer. Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last breath. I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. Twenty-five years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins, and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruin. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day, I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus' former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men and the Ratway became a bloodbath. I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septum and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. Have your weapon at the ready. I'm certain Carlia knows we're here. weapon at the ready. I'm certain Carlia knows we're here.
divine smile on you, friend. All right, what is it? What do you need? Can't do that. Sorry. Anything else? Must you keep stopping? Have your weapon at the ready. I'm certain Carlia knows we're here. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Hmm, this one doesn't look too difficult. Quite simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. Skill. That should do it. You're quite noisy for someone who claims to be a thief. the chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of the traps. will adorn my blade.
Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness. You know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlyle is close, I'm certain. Now let's get moving. Ensure an enemy's defeat, he must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough, otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence, but I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. me the means to be rid of you and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place but do you know what intrigues me the most the fact that this was all possible because of you farewell i'll be certain to give Rinyolf your regards Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? No. I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer, but I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way that prevented your death. More than you'll ever realize. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. My purpose in using Snowveil Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, you recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. 
There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Marissa. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Marissa lied to the Ghetto, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. I can promise you if it comes to that and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. I'm afraid not. There are preparations to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. He was a scholar, a master thief, and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales, and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were very close. Gallus once said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Remember, speak only to Anthea. Trust no one else. Yes. May the gods watch over your battle. Far too old for this sort of journey. You don't know what's inside. Uh, I'll. I can. Uh, just. Uh, 
You see, you're not well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. Oh, if there was a tonic that could help me, I would have found it by now. My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Are you kidding? I came all the way from Cyrodiil just to work with him. He's... he's not the best teacher, but just watching him, I've learned so much. All right, then. I'm so close to the answer. Just a man's life work is all. Finally derived the location of the white file, but this doting busybody won't let me get it. You would do that? It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker, Kuralnil, in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kuralnil was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach his resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, don't, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. The legendary bottle. Forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. Create from nothingness is poetry. I've spent my entire life searching for it. It brought me all the way to these frozen reaches from the warm embrace of Somerset Isle. Entire years spent in libraries, seeking out tiny villages with local legends that contained but a whisper of a hint of the file. I even named my shop after it, hoping that it might attract anyone who had heard of it. And now it's within my grasp. But the eight, it seems, <coughs> have chosen me for their amusement. <laughs> for in my current condition, I'll never be able to lay my hands on it. Why are you still standing around here? Go get me the file, you fool! Quintus, could you fetch me a copy of the firmament? I need to compare the old star charts to today.